Hello and a warm welcome to this week's reflection from St George's Anglican Church Paris. Question, what are you waiting for? We can hear that as a simple question, possibly as a threat, maybe even as an invitation. At the moment in the Eucharist we're hearing uh, regular readings from the Revelation of St John. Um, that's the end times. And the church is full of people who've used the vision of that end time to motivate their faith and life, albeit sometimes with uneven results. Time in the scriptures is either chronological or it's realistic. Either it measures days, months and years, or it talks about an important moment. Alongside chronological time, in both Old and New Testaments, you get phrases which suggest something more is afoot in that day, at that time, which lead into moments of kairos, a time of opportunity. When making a response, making a decision, takes on extra significance, so that waiting becomes not simply redundant, but positively damaging. How has this lockdown been for you? Perhaps it's been one of frantic activity in front of a computer screen. Perhaps it's been a hard season of loneliness and deprivation. Perhaps it's been accompanied by worries, financial, familial, even existential. Perhaps your time has been impossible to fill and the long days have begun to swim together. As we draw to the end of the liturgical year, preparing to start again to tell the story of redemption at Advent, as we begin again um, to anticipate Christmas, uh, Lent and Easter, we have an opportunity to make ourselves take stock of chronological time, however busy or mad life feels, to take stock and to invest in our waiting. Investing in our waiting in order that waiting becomes waiting upon the Kairos moment of God, waiting to respond with all our hearts to the God who offers us love in Jesus. I'd like to conclude by reading you a poem by Neil Thompson. It's fresh off the press. Uh, he wrote it this year. It's called Waiting Room. Uh, Neil was the former uh, presenter of Rochester Cathedral. It's called Waiting Room. Advent is a waiting room in a world where there is so little room for waiting disconnection, on hold, adrift, passive, done unto. Everything that is contrary to the zeitgeist of our egocentric gravity. Ignore the diversions of triviality. Listen, be still. Love and truth and hope speak out in the midst of prophets discounted and marginalised, voices that cut to the bone of our fragile, arrogant flesh. We miss the glory, enchanted by the mirror of importance and pleasure. There is a greater joy and purer light that lies in a different reflection. We look, but we do not see, we hear, but never resonate with heaven's promise and simple treasures. God is coming and has come in fragility and vulnerability. It is only in waiting, in making room, disarming the defence of our ambient power that we can be free and be found by the future born in Bethlehem. Veni, Veni Emmanuel.